Hello everyone, and welcome back to Beyond Blue, where I have been more than a little enchanted by these amazing hammerheads. Did you guys know that hammerheads often migrate in big groups together? I'm talking big groups. This is just like a small itty bitty little group of sharks, whatever the collective noun for group of sharks is but thousands of them will travel together through the waters, migrating to warmer places, migrating to their breeding zones. And I wonder why? You would think as a shark, everything would be potential food, but I'm pretty sure they don't eat each other once they get big enough, but maybe that's just because they can't. Hmm. There's a lot of questions to be answered. And I really love that about being here, diving in the open ocean with all of you guys. A lot of this is completely new territory for me. Creatures I've never heard of. Oh, look at all of them! Look at all these moon jellyfish! Animals I've never heard of. It's so special to be able to still dive into a new an amazing place in our world to discover something different, right? Like the Mola Mola. I love that fish. But all right, we have a task to do, and I have been distracted by every little fish and fin that has come on by for quite a while. So let's go ahead and make our way to the next buoy, where we're going to see what our next task is in watching after all of these whales and trying to get to the bottom of exactly what seems to be upsetting them. Some illegal activity pushing into their oasis here in the open ocean where clearly they need that atoll for something to like raise their babies there to be able to use it everything else is kind of like an ocean desert so it's very important to protect it so let's go see what we can find you know as we scan every creature along the way is that another mola mola you are such an odd looking fella i love these Didn't ocean sunfish this dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here Okay, so the whales should be here, but I don't really see them at the moment. I wonder how many of these guys we need to scan to get like enough information about them. Cause look at that hammerhead. Oh, okay, before I go swimming off after every single fin that comes by, let's do our tasks. Okay, we're gonna try to. Oh, Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. Okay. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm gonna love it. <laughs> really? How many are we gonna run into? Are these sardines again? What is happening? It's a bait <gasps> ball. Humpbacks? Orcas? Very unusual, but everyone's gotta eat. Oh I'm my sorry. gosh! I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. This is so cool! Of course, with all of the sardines in the area, they're creating a bait ball, you guys! This bait ball will be where all of the hunters, the predators, uh, will be swirling around and chasing the fish into a tight little ball like this. The fish on the inside have the best chance of not getting nommed, so they're going to constantly swirl and try to push inwards. And when they do that, all of the fish who are on the outside are also going to want to get in, so... Aha, look at that! Oh, that's amazing! That is so amazing! And so that's why you end up with that big swirl. Everybody's trying to survive, and one of the best ways to do that is let your buddies be the ones who the orcas end up catching. Look at this, this is so cool! Alright, let's scan everybody. I don't think it's usual for, you know, orcas and humpbacks and dolphins to create a bait ball together. But they're very opportunistic. Of course dolphins show up. Never like being left out of the action. <laughs> Good luck to them. They're up against bigger guy. stomachs. Oh, I love that. And can you believe how huge they are and they're just swirling right past? Alright, we have a couple more dolphins down here. Oh, and look at that bait ball. That is so cool. So everybody's getting a snack, and when they're done, the sardines will swim off and try to regroup. Oh, look at that humpback. 
I can't believe something that big just emerges out of nowhere from the ocean. That's amazing. Oh, geez, there's another one. That's really amazing. All right, let's keep swimming. Here they are. You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. Okay, what do we have here? Hello, little one. Not so little one, I should say. All right, and you are. So now we've got the tag, zoom, to, uh, zoom scan to deploy camera tags. Okay. And so this is the sperm whale family that we're after, good. So now we wanna go ahead and make sure we're on track for the right ones. All right, let's swim over to the other sperm whale. There we go. This is so cool, can you imagine how hard it would be to find these guys, let alone ID them? Are there fewer than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? Oh, definitely fewer, but maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? I've prepared a coder you can activate from your dive watch. Oh, wow. So now they're diving down to do their own hunting. So unlike everybody who's hunting the sardine balls, these guys are actually going to go very, very deep. Hi, guys. Searching for squid. Isn't that amazing? Just the freedom of movement is really what enchants me. All right. So next up, oh, the baby. It's swimming upside down so you can listen to what everybody's doing, huh? The way that they send out all of their sound signals to get sense of where they are in the water, like I said before, it's at the top of their head. So when they roll upside down like that, they're trying to get an idea of what's going on with the rest of the family deep under. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her. clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. Sound is everything to whales. It's their hands. These are animals with the biggest brains on earth and the most powerful sound apertures. That would explain why it would be really bad to have that sound pollution in the ocean. All right, so now we've got some new insights. I think we've updated some of what we were working on. Evaluate Coda ASAP, Sin Rin bait ball video, million views. <laughs> that was beautiful. Check science log, Orca, from this region, underweight, scan lens, head release lock, interior release lock. Oh, that's all of the drones. We might need a new drone charger. All right, what else do we have going on in here now that we're doing this? Oh, we have a whole bunch of, look, unusual alliance. See how the ocean life practice collaboration to hunt. Oh man, if I wasn't worried about getting flagged on YouTube for that, I totally would. One day we might have to just sit down and watch all of it on a stream, because I think that would be really fun. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. Along came a butterfly, a book of poems. So our personal life is still developing. Oh, look at you. Yeah, personal life is still carrying on and developing even while we're so busy. Uh, we probably need to make some phone calls, speaking of which. So let's see what's going on. Live stream highlights. Live stream recording of the bait ball has already exceeded a million views. First leatherback turtle sighted in the region since the nesting beaches became too warm. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The nesting beaches like getting too warm? That would be a big issue. And that's really awesome that like the bait ball got a million views. Bad news. The drone we had tracking that intrusive noise, it's gone. Lost contact hours ago. I'll keep monitoring the hydrophones for that noise, but as of now, unless the drone resurfaces, that's all we've got. Mm. All right, so that's Andrea's message. Let's call Irina about this. Hey, Mirai. I assume you've heard that Andrea lost the drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? 
You'll have to ask Andre. He hasn't given me an update. I think he's upset that I suggested we'd still have the drone if we used it for its original purpose. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? Both. Hmm. I mean, that is understandable, but... I think we did the right thing. I you, you you have to like make a moral decision sometimes, you know? Oh, there goes one of our other little drones. So that's understandable. Yeah. His passion can sometimes be Because he was a, pretty confrontational I just about wish it. He wasn't so cold with me. Just because I turned my prior research into a successful biotech business, not every company is evil. Uh, I mean, eventually, you're going to need to have some of the good ones who really hold themselves accountable be at the top, or <laughs> it's all about a balance of power. If somebody's bigger and stronger and they've got more money and influence, they're going to do whatever they want, and you have to find ways to check them in on that. And one of those ways is to have an alternative, a like really good, healthy company, as healthy as a company can become, with as much oversight as possible. So I, 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 don't, I don't think it's up to him. And maybe, was it fun running the company? Give him time? Yeah, it's nothing personal. I know. Those miners have him agitated. It's nothing personal. Hopefully that's true. <sighs> was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. Between the drone and staying up to chat with my daughter, I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. Is. Uh, she's alive, but suffers from dementia. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12. Ren was 4. Are you and your sister close? Hmm. I would say definitely. Definitely. Yeah, most of the time. It's complex right now. Where is your daughter? You're at the right age She's for it to be complex. In the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She has been playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Ooh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister uh, took a break for a few years. But hey, if you need now. a break, Miraya, you need a break. There. Not my business. It's just hard sometimes for me not to want to take the wheel when I see her swerving. Does she want your help? Mm. I push her to do better, but honestly, I think that just pushes her away. <laughs> you sound like me talking about my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah complex. People are messy. That's why I study whales. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get prepped for our next dive. Yeah. Catch you later. Yes, of course. Hmm. Hmm. See, I would say my big thing would probably be that often when people are trying to direct someone in one direction, especially when it's family, not like I have a copious experiment, like experience with that, they think so linear like point a to point b that's the way that they think someone else should live their life and i mean if you get caught up in that kind of in the box thinking you have no idea what other kinds of lives you might end up not living i ended up living a very outside the box sort of life that pretty much everybody about me opposed every step of the way but i'm really happy with where i'm at now so I think it's less about telling people what to do, and it's much, much more just about making sure what's the core of them, their confidence, their their feelings of self-worth, that those things are tended to. The world changes so quickly, and if you can support someone's sense of self-worth and, and their belief in being a good person, then whatever the details of the decisions are to come, they'll make the right one. So. I oppose both Alina and <laughs> Mariah here, wanting to pick specific things for their like daughter and sister to do, 
it's much more important to focus on the core of the person. Everything else is just, there's too many variables. In fact, let's go ahead and call Ren. I'm gonna do Hi, my best fire. It must be late there. That's okay. I'm on dive time. I showed Nana the highlights from your live stream. Did she yeah? like the whales? Did she like the whales? Oh, it's hard to know. She did huff at the dolphins, though. Oh. Let's see. Figured she would. She really loved reading you that story. <laughs> she used to read you that story every night. I yeah, don't know what story. Told me that, but I don't really remember. Are you doing okay with her? Kind of. You do this better. Did you want to talk about next semester? Ugh, when you get back, it's complex. You know, I can look at coming back earlier. That's crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. <laughs> Gonna try. Catch you later. Hmm. I don't know about that. I have a lot of. I have. Whoops. Ah. No, I'm Hi, good. Mariah. I'm good. Must be Thanks, sis. Okay. I showed Nana. Okay, there we go. Ah. Okay, hang on, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've got some opinions about how they're handling that. You gotta let somebody have confidence, and sometimes that means doing stuff yourself. Also, we unlocked a new song. How cool! All right, I want the next dive. Let's do this. I'm gonna go see the fish. Day seven. About to enter <gasps> twilight the zone. twilight zone. I'm following Andrea's family down to the sea mounts, where I hope to observe them hunting. Arena has been testing our samples and is worried about a harmful algal bloom being somewhere nearby, so I am to keep an eye out for that. Check. I'm also keeping an eye out for more turtles. I know they're out there. Ready to dive. All right. See, this is what I think we should be focusing I'm on. I'm in and okay. And we're <gasps> streaming. Wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome, or welcome back. I'm diving near a sea mount region also known as the Twilight Zone, because it is just beyond reach of the sun. And we'll be taking some questions live, so be nice. We'll also be testing a playback system to interact with whales. This is so cool! Split fins, I've never even heard of those guys. Oh, what's over here? Oh, yes! Spider crabs! They're so funny. I love spider crabs. They're just so fascinating. Oh, look at these guys. So we're further down away from the warmth of the sun. Spider crabs, you guys are so weird. We're further away from the warmth of the sun and down to where sight isn't exactly the most important thing for you to have. Also, a John Dory. I've heard of those guys before. Hi, spider crabs. So I guess we'll have to find a whole bunch of the spider crabs. Ah, can you just believe? Like, look at this. Look at this. I, I could spend so much. Oh, the orange roughy. Oh, hang in there, little guys. You're one of the most overfished and suffering fish species that I know of. Heckin', we'll talk about orange roughy later too. But let's go ahead and focus on the next stage that we need. And we'll see what else we stumble upon while we're here. I hope the lights that we put down here aren't interfering too much with the other animals. Is that a sea cucumber? It's a comb jelly! How cool! There's a lot of spider crabs. I wonder what kind of social groups they stay in, if any. Maybe they all just happen to be in the same place because that's where the food is. Alright, look at these gigantic corals. Oh, this is amazing. Is that a wreckage? Want to hear something cool? So do I. Whoa. I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. <gasps> Are those way over here? He's going to serenade some humpbacks. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings. Oh, this is fine. Okay, so I wonder what the implications are of... Um, I don't even hear that one. There's the humpbacks. Whoa, what is that? Sensor alarm? Huh. Alright, well I wonder what the implications are of us actually trying to serenade and talk to the humpbacks. Maybe... Oh, Diana octopus squid. Some sperm well food swimming around over here, friends. But maybe 
being able to talk to the humpbacks, maybe it's just like when you talk to a bird, you don't want to do it at the wrong moment, play back a bird call. But it, I don't think it's terribly upsetting to them as long as you don't distract them from feeding or put them in a position of being in danger from a predator. So I think that we're just okay. going to be able to Time relax to see if any humpbacks this. respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you will know. Great question. If we have recorded him before, we'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready to explore these depths with all of you in just a moment and see what lives down here and floats down into the Twilight Zone. I know our sperm whale family easily pushes through these barriers. It's so dark, but I promise you guys there's stuff here to see. And I'm going to take a moment to catch my breath, and when we come back, we're going to see if we can figure out what that sensor alarm is going on about as well. Oh, but until next time, my friends, let me know what you think about the Twilight Zone. It's just, it just amazes me to think that this is out there right now, part of our world, and we know so little about it. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.